We are presenting a study on students' performance in French subjects in the COVID-19 confinement. Therefore, our hypothesis could be if we confirm better students' performance during confinement, could it be due to some specific factor of the distance e-learning experience? For example, do we have better results if we employ video conferences? Or could it be due to some specific factors of the confinement experience, for example, the fact that they have more spare time or others? On the other hand, if our results showed worse student performance during confinement, could it be due also to some specific factors of distant learning experience as lack of face-to-face -face teaching? Or could it be a result of some specific factors of the confinement experience? The first type of analysis, the student's performance over the semester that included COVID-19 confinement, was carried out on these two subjects. In both cases, lessons online are proposed by video conferences, online activities, resources in Moodle, and email monitoring. What we can see in the graphics that uh, the marks increased in both groups until a peak at the end of April, showing a decrease later in May. Let's see what happens in the second group of tourism. In this case, students' commitment is very high. All the group handed in 100% of the assignments, which showed much better quality compared to previous years. We can see that the scores in March are better than in May, and it's also shown in comparison with other previous years that the scores were higher in COVID context, as well as motivation and commitment. Let's see what happens with students' performance in COVID context opposite to previous years in general translation from French to Spanish. In this case, Online, teach, online teaching was based on video conferences and resources and activities in Moodle and email monitoring. Students' commitment is also high, as most of the group handed in all the assignments. Those who didn't deliver 100% of them were repeaters or foreign students. Let's now summarize our results. How could we explain these results? Well. Increasing anxiety could be due to the COVID-19 confinement. In fact, psychologists have reported an increase in the number of students who require their attention at the end of the confinement. Strong restrictions applied in the, applied in the whole Spanish territory from March the 10th to April, um, so less outdoor uh, activities and uncertainty could lead to a higher commitment. But then the gradual release starting in Madrid on May the 25th could end in looser restrictions and then could imply less, uh, less commitment. We could also think of some effects of the nearness of the end and the beginning of the confinement on the based on the results of uh, translation. And also some effects on the amount of work. It could explain the results with repeater students. And finally, some effects may be on the foreign status, based on the foreign status of the students. So what can we learn from these results to improve teaching performance? It seems we need better schedules for tasks, deadlines far from beginning and ending of the confinement, far from exam periods. Anyway, long-term e-learning could have a decreasing uh, effect. Better calculation and dosage of the amount of work seem to be essential, at least for repeaters and foreign students. So awareness and recognition of these relationships between scores in e-learning are dependent on this scenario since we have demonstrated that there are reasons related to COVID-19 confinement and others related to the intrinsic nature of distant learning. So the development of, of new online applications to help teaching in confinement should take into account the difference between teaching in this particular situation and teaching in the most general scenario where no confinements are applied.